Hey. Hey, wake up. You dozed off in my hotel room. Yeah, yeah, open those eyes. Chop, chop. You're in my room. Time to go. Wait a minute. I know you. Oh my god. Whoa. What a blast from the past. It's you. Damn. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> oh, you're here for the reunion too? I guess that checks out, but... You're like the last person I expected to show up to this thing. Usually people only come to high school reunions when they, like, had at least one friend in high school. <laughs> oh my god, it's been so many years since I last saw you. Hey, you look so different. Yep, that's my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> I'm almost surprised you still remember. It was so long ago. Man... I did not think you and I would ever cross paths again. But here we are, I guess. What the hell are you doing in my hotel room, anyway? Uh, no. It's not your room, dummy. It's my room. Read my keycard. 1408. I double-checked the room number outside the door. This is definitely... Uh, huh? That's weird. Your keycard says 14082. I guess... There must be some kind of a mix-up because they gave us the same room. Guess you need to get out and go ask the concierge for a different room. Uh, but, hold on a sec. Now that we're here, let's catch up. You don't mind if I just sit down on the bed here next to you, will you? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Don't tell me you don't want to catch up with your old pal after all this time. <laughs> Remember all those good times we had? Uh, no. No, I'm not. Okay. Maybe I'm a little tipsy. Fine. <laughs> There's an open bar downstairs. I had to take advantage a little. Oh my god. Looking at your face squinting up at me right now, it's all rushing back to me. All those happy memories. Well, happy for me, anyway. <laughs> Remember when you were walking to Robotics Club or uh, whatever with all those pizzas? A hand you fell and they all went up in the air. You were lying on the floor looking at me with exactly that expression. All confused with pizza sauce dripping down. Oh. Oh yeah. Right. I remember now. You didn't fall. I tripped you. <laughs> and those pizzas just went flying. It was like that one scene in Breaking Bad. Man, it's all coming back. I can picture it like it was yesterday. Come on, you have to admit that was pretty funny, right? Oh, don't look at me with that pout. You used to pout just like that when I made fun of you before, too. With your little hands trembling. <laughs> You're not still mad at me for playing one or two little pranks on you back then, are you? Well, okay. Maybe it was more than one or two, but still, it was years ago. Here, if you want, I can say I'm sorry or whatever. Are you really still mad? <laughs> Why do you come, anyway? I mean, I guess you probably have enough free time, if nothing else. Uh, no offense. What? I said no offense. That's not even a bad thing, really. 
having free time. So, okay, I guess I can see how it sounded kind of like an insult. Ugh, I'm sorry, okay, damn, relax. Ugh, you're like my wife. She gets all sensitive about me ribbing her once in a while, too. Uh, where is she? Uh, she's, um, uh, she's in the lobby. She's still chatting with people. Uh, yeah, she's in the lobby. You know, socializing, making friends, being liked. All that stuff you were a pro at not doing back in school. <laughs> I'm going to take a wild guess and assume you didn't bring someone. Is that right? Oh, wow, really? You're telling me that the lamest girl from our graduation class didn't grow up to marry? Like, a supermodel or a famous actor or something? Oh, I'm floored. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That was kind of mean. Sorry. <laughs> I told you, I'm a little tipsy. Cut me some slack. Oh, it's just a joke. Oh, wait, that actually reminds me. Didn't you used to have the biggest crush on me? Don't lie to me. I can see you getting nervous again. <laughs> you did, didn't you? Oh yeah, you even asked me to dance. It wasn't homecoming, it was uh, the one before that, right? Oh my god, how could I forget? Yeah, I remember now. Oh my god. I pretended to say yes, and then you came to my house, right? You were dressed in that little dress your mom probably ironed for you. And you were holding that cute bouquet of roses from the supermarket and that little pink corsage you were probably hoping I'd put on your wrist myself. And then we poured a bucket of dishwater on you from my bedroom window. <laughs> oh my god, how could I forget that? Your face. You literally started crying. Though it was hard to tell with the suds running down your cheeks, to be honest. Oh, I kind of forgot about that. I guess that was pretty mean of me. Ah, oh, fine, you're right. But you have to admit, it was a little funny, right? And come on, it was like a million years ago anyway. I'm sorry, I guess, but it's not like it's that big a deal. Don't be such a stick in the mud. It's not like... Uh, I have to take this. Look, uh, great catching up with you and all, but do me a solid and find another room, okay? Tell the concierge to give you another one. Uh, hello? Oh, hey, uh, sweetheart. Uh, yeah, wait a sec. Let me just step into the bathroom. There's someone else in the room. Where are you anyway? The dinner is tomorrow. But you said you would. We promised you'd come. You can't just not show. I already told all my friends. Yeah. Except if I go by myself, then I have to explain to everyone why I didn't bring my wife and... Yeah, I know, but you know how much this means to me. You have to go, but wait. We have to talk about this. You can't... Uh, okay. You seriously have to go right now. Okay, fine. You and him have fun. Bye. Uh, wait, uh, why the hell are you still here? Didn't I tell you to go find another room? 
Go on, just leave. Go. Ugh, nothing happened. It's none of your business, even if something did happen. I just... I don't know. I just need to lie down. No. I am not crying. Just go already. I... I just... Okay. Wait. Wait. I'm sorry. Please don't go. I... I don't think I can be alone right now. I was... I was talking to my wife, okay? I lied earlier. And she's not downstairs. She's not even at the hotel. What I didn't mention before was... Uh, she's actually my ex-wife. Uh, we've been separated for a couple months now. We just haven't told anyone yet. And... And he, she promised... She promised she would come to the big reunion dinner tomorrow and... Just pretend like things were normal for one night because... She knows how important this is to me with all my friends being here. But... She just called to tell me she couldn't make it because... Oh, because... Hmm. Oh my god. Why am I even telling you this? Just go. You don't care. It's fine. No, you don't. Just go. It's fine. You don't want to hear about my stupid problems. You... You do. You mean that? Okay, well... Thank you. I... I kinda need to tell someone. I don't know. She says she can't come because she's busy spending time with her new boyfriend. Oh my god. And now it's all ruined. Our friends already know something is up with us. They're not gonna believe whatever I tell them. They told me she was bad for me, and I didn't listen. Now I'm gonna look like I'm such an idiot. Oh, and now I've been crying. Oh, I look like a bright red, ugly, melted doll. You... You don't think I look ugly. You still think I look handsome. Even with tears dripping down my cheek. <laughs> I... That's sweet of you to say. Thank you. Hey, um... Can you hand me a bottle of water from the mini fridge down there? I'll pay the room bill, I promise. I just need a drink. Thank you. Oh, that makes me feel better. And, uh, thanks for listening to my little outburst. I... That makes me feel a lot better, too. Having someone to listen to me vent. I wouldn't really have had anyone to talk to about this if you hadn't been here. <laughs> oh. Thanks. You're sweet. <laughs> hey, uh... I don't really know how to say this, but... Uh, I'm sorry for earlier... I was, like, being really mean. I guess I just... The whole thing has been so stressful to go through. When I saw you here, 
I remembered all those times I was going through stuff at home or whatever in high school, and I used to rag on you to take my mind off things. Oh, and I just kind of fell into that mindset again. I just wanted to explain. Not that that excuses it. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm really trying not to be that person anymore. That person who hurts other people because he feels hurt inside. I just kind of suck at it, I guess. No, I mean, that's nice of you to say, but I do. That thing about tripping you with the pizzas or whatever. You were right. That wasn't funny. It was just mean. And the dance prank, that... That was horrible to make you go through. I know it's way too late, but... I am sorry. And I'm not just saying it this time. I mean it. And I'm sorry for making light of it earlier. I know better. I know stuff like that isn't a joke. It hurts people. And I know it hurt you. I'm not that person anymore. I swear. Yeah. Well. Thank you for accepting my apology. You're a better person than I am. That's for sure. I don't really deserve it. Really? So you're saying you kind of figured that I was having a hard time? Even back then? That I wasn't, like, a bad person. I was just acting like a bitch because I was going through stuff. I... I guess I never realized. I always thought I was only a bully in your mind. I never imagined that scrawny nerd I picked on would actually care whether the guy who made her feel miserable had issues in his own life. That's super thoughtful of you. I, uh, I hope you don't mind that I uh, put my arm around you just now. I... I'm embarrassed to admit this, but I kind of need a hug. Oh. 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 Thank you. Mm. That feels so nice and warm. Yes. <laughs> no, no. It's really okay. I like to be held tight. Just wrap your arms around me. Oh, do you like hugs too? Well, I guess it's really more of a cuddle since we're still in bed. You really don't mind cuddling with your big bad bully? Oh. Thank you. You are so sweet. Let me just stroke your hair a little. Uh, I kinda always knew that. I guess I just let my worst impulses take over when I saw you. If I could do it over, I'd do it differently. But. I know that's not possible. Still, I don't know. Maybe there's still time to make things right. We are at our high school reunion after all. What I'm saying is... And look, if you don't want to, that is completely okay. I understand. I get it. But, maybe fate is giving us another chance to get to know each other and do it right this time. 
or at least a clerical error from the hotel management is. <laughs> what I'm asking is, do you want to be my date to the reunion dinner tomorrow? Like, we don't have to be a couple or anything, just as friends. No, I'm being serious. Here, let me cup your cheek. Look into my eyes. No trick. This isn't a joke. There's zero buckets of dishwater in your future. I promise. <laughs> Seriously. I know it might be hard to believe, but... If you could give me a chance... I wasn't acting like I know I can be before. I really have changed. I'm not that person. But... It's up to you. And if you don't want to, I... Really? Do you mean it? Okay. That would make me so happy. Let's do it. You brought a dress and everything, right? Actually, even if you didn't, it's okay. We don't need to dress fancy or be flashy. What matters is that we're together and we have fun. <laughs> and we will. I promise. I... I guess my friends are still going to wonder what happened to my wife, but... I think I'll have the confidence to be honest with them, if you're by my side. I was so scared to have to go all alone. But I'm not scared anymore. <sighs> Your hands rubbing my back feel so good. Mm -hmm. Hey, by the way, I promise I'm not teasing you, but... I wasn't wrong about you having a huge crush on me in high school. Was I? <laughs> no, no, don't be shy. Seriously, I'm not making fun of you. It's actually really cute. I, um, I kind of like you too. You're really sweet and kind and such a good listener. So, ah. Uh, what would you say if I asked you to be my date to dinner as more than friends? Oh, my thoughts exactly. Sounds like we have a date then. I can't give you back the dance I ruined, though I am really sorry about what I did back then. But I can give you something new. I'll introduce you to my friends properly. They aren't so bad either. You'll see. We're going to have a lot of fun together. I guess we need to get a rest for a big day. I know there's a lot of events and stuff planned. I'm okay with sharing this room and this bed if you are. Awesome. Though, before we turn in for the night, there's... One thing I wanted to try, just uh, close your eyes for a second, Ugh, never mind why, just do it. <laughs> that was fun, <laughs> sorry I should have asked but I just really wanted to do that. I just feel really close to you right now. Not just because we're two inches apart on the bed. I have this feeling things are going to get better now. For both of us. Oh, man. Imagine what your past self would say if you could tell her you'd wind up kissing me here she'd probably like 
High five you. <laughs> oh, I hope your present self likes it too. Oh, so did I. Here, now hold me closer. Mm, there we go. Nozzle in. Mm, just like that. Thanks for being there for me. Mm. 